Good evening, YouTube land. Thought I'd do a little simple illustration. Uh, I was trying to understand four link, working on a little uh, Falcon project back here. And um, I was trying to understand four link, triangulated and parallel. Watched a lot of videos. Uh, I thought I would just simplify it for uh, dummies like me. Maybe there's a few of you out there that just uh, have watched a lot of it and still kind of confusing. <clears throat> parallel four, four link. If you notice, if you can see by the video, there's a lot of side to side movement. A lot. You can move it. It'll, it'll articulate, but there's a lot of side to side movement. Now, as soon as I triangulate the suspension, the movement's gone. It'll still articulate with the suspension, but it don't move. And that simplified it for me. I built just I built this little model uh, just so I could see for myself what it does. And it'll still travel up and down and articulate like it's supposed to. But triangulated four link, <clears throat> you don't have a need for a panard bar. So uh, by eliminating the panard bar. Uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages one way or the other depending on what you want to do with your setup But by eliminating the panard bar just for normal street application uh, If you're not gonna be putting you know 3,000 horsepower to it You may want to go with a different setup, but just for a good street car if you don't want to run a panard bar You can go triangulate it and it'll work just fine on this car. However, I'm going to put uh, Penard bar, four link parallel, because uh, I'm going to do some other stuff to it too. Just thought that might help. Thank you.